Death from above. A player has just launched a nuclear missile. And we're gonna go watch. I like mushroom clouds. Praise Adam. That red circle that you're seeing, that's the blast zone for the nuke. So everything inside of that circle is gonna be obliterated. Red means dead. We're gonna fast travel to Vault 76. That should give us a nice view of the whole boom. Now, I'm not going to be talking through the nuclear detonation. <laughs> that would just that would just be stupid. But before the detonation, Daddy's going to talk to you about nukes because we are all devout children of Adam on this day. And I was actually the first person to travel here because I, lo I love me some mushroom clouds. But you're going to see more people fast traveling here. Uh, it's going to start filling up. I would imagine that... The areas around nuclear blasts, even before they happen, are going to be pretty dangerous. So many people in one place to see this awesome spectacle and maybe get in a little murder. I'm playing in a server with 23 other people. Some of them are developers, others are fellow YouTubers or members of the press. The footage that you're seeing I recorded at a Fallout 76 event at the Greenbrier in West Virginia, where I got to explore. Uh, real life vaults. It was really cool. I've got a link to that video where I covered the event and the vault in a comment below. But now let's talk about nukes. How you get them and what they do. If you want to fire a nuke, you'll need nuclear launch codes. You can get them solo, but it'll be far easier to get them with a group. Now, nukes are kind of an end game sort of a deal. You, you'll need to be a high level to get these things. Once you complete your nuclear launch codes, which you can find through quests or paying attention when you're exploring and through other means, once you complete your codes, you'll take them to the appropriate silo and then choose your target carefully because you're going to transform that area of the map into an irradiated wasteland for quite a while. Basically, after a nuke detonates, there's going to be a fallout. And that fallout is a veritable world event where the blast zone turns into a high-level PvE zone. There's going to be high-level creatures that emerge as a result of the blast, and the area itself is going to be just filled with rads. So you're going to need a lot of rad X, a lot of rad away, a lot of stim packs. You'll, you'll need to come prepared and make sure that you have some high-level armor and some really good anti-radiation gear. Now, if you're so inclined, you can drop a nuke on a rival's base if, if, you, if you are that petty, which I am. So if someone's a little resistant to your attempts at murdering them, just, just blow up their home. <laughs> anyway, uh... Speaking of Rad X and Rad Away and Stim Packs, I actually have quite a lot for a lowly level 7. And, <laughs> funny story about that. Uh, the reason I have so much is because a developer befriended me. I just stumbled upon this developer in awesome Enclave Power Armor, and they just started giving me little uh, baggies full of stim packs and uh, medicines. So after they befriended me, and just started popping in and out and following me around the map, I reached level five. And at level five, <laughs> you, you, you can murder. So, so I tried to murder them in true Fallout fashion. And they kicked my ass, because they have a jetpack and they're way higher level and they've got awesome weapons. And this is me making up with them. We're, we're throwing hearts at each other. Anyway, I got a link to that video in the comments. <laughs> Actually, eventually I succeeded in murdering them with a little help from my friends. I, I got a posse together and we hunted them down over and over and over again after many deaths. Look at him up there with that jetpack, so smug. He's got the best seat in the house. Anyway, shh, shh, shh. nukes are about to fall.
this was the moment I was preparing for. All the medicine that the developer gave me, I am just burning through all of it, trying to survive in this radioactive fallout, but it's nearly impossible because my power armor sucks. It's actually non-existent, and I got no protection from radiation, so I, I lasted the longest, but yeah, that, that, that still didn't account for much. I did, however, down a couple of beers before dying, so you know, I, I got that going for me. But if you'd like to check out murder, or hunting one of the most powerful beasts in Fallout 76, or seeing Vault 76 itself, I've got links in the comments to all of those videos. In any case, thank you for watching, and thank you to Bethesda for inviting me to capture this footage. And if you guys enjoyed, I hope you'll join us for more Fallout videos and live streams in the near future. Until next time, take care.